and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to be drawing the Green Lantern, one of my absolute favorite characters in uh, comicdom or, uh, you know, comic book world. And so here's his body, his shoulders, his left bicep, his forearm, his uh, right arm here with his elbow and forearm, his, uh, his leg coming forward as he's flying towards us, so his knee is bent forward and his other leg back here. And we're going to be drawing his, uh, this drawing will be fully colored as you saw at the intro there, we'll be doing the, the, the penciling, the inks, and the colors. And my tools for today are this uh, pencil of course, my uh, Bic Matic pencil, uh, 0 0.7 and um, HB lead or HB graphite. And then we're going to be using Copic markers but you can use any kind of marker, Sharpie, uh, Bix, whatever you want, and use them to do your drawings. If you like the color with uh, tools, you can use markers, you can use uh, you know, colored pencils, you can use chalk, you can use crayons. Use whatever you feel, or whatever you have around your house, more than whatever you feel like using. Whatever you have around you is what you use to color and draw and all that. You know, there's there's really no tool that is better than another. Of course, there are qualities and all that, but just use whatever you have. So let's erase these foundation lines here. And then we're going to add his logo here on his chest, which is a lantern, essentially. It's a two horizontal bars with a circle in the middle, a donut. What's cool about the Green Lantern is that whatever he thinks up, he uses, he uses his ring to create constructs. And so we can make, you know, spaceships and machine guns and rockets and missiles and you know whatever he wants to dream up whatever his willpower dreams up he can create so today we're going to draw this guy and last week we we drew colossus from x-men today we're going to do a dc character and draw a uh, green lantern and i just felt like doing this rather quickly today so it's maybe a 30 minute video where last week we did about an hour uh, video. So I'll draw this a little bit quicker, add less detail in the pencil, and add a bit more detail with the ink later on. Alright, so let's get his eyes drawn in here. His uh, mask goes over his face. He has a the Green Lantern has a mask. There are a few Green Lanterns around. Um, this one is the Green Lantern called Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan wears a mask, whereas Guy Gardner does not and a few others don't as well. Um, but, you know, I like the idea of a mask hiding his, I his identity uh, so his friends and family stay safe from his enemies. Um, and we're going to draw in his hair. He's got short hair. Sort of looks like small fire. You know, if, if we've drawn fire before when we drew, when we drew a, a Ghost Rider. And so hair is sort of like fire, it's just that you draw it shorter. Here's his left fist. And draw that. There we go. And you may notice that I'm not using basic shapes in this case. I'm just drawing along and um, yeah, I just want to do things a little bit faster today. But keep in mind that once again, you have total control over the YouTube, uh, you know, buttons so you can play, pause, rewind, do whatever you really need to do to control this video. If you think it's going too quickly, hey, hit the pause button, hit the rewind, you know, just get through it um, and take your time. The whole point is to have fun, remember that, that's the biggest part of drawing, to enjoy ourselves while we are creating characters, environments, whatever we want here. I get a lot of requests for human body, so um, that's why I'm drawing these superhero characters in different poses. Last week, Colossus this week, uh, Green Lantern, and uh, you know, it's always the same human body, and the same shapes go at the same places, and unless you're drawing an alien or an animal, then certain things will change for sure. But the, the overall, you know, bicep, tricep muscles are, are similar in a lot of cases. So once you get used to drawing it, Drawing the human body in a specific position, then you can draw 
any kind of position afterwards. Let's put his nose lines here, sort of like a triangle if you look at it. I feel like coloring in around the lines here. This is something I'm going to be inking later on anyway. I'll use my uh, dark Copic marker uh, brush and I paint the, around these lines, trace them all up. But for the moment, I still like to put in a few little details, um, knowing where I'm going to be putting in those, those black lines later on. <clears throat> so this is our second drawing of 2015. And I hope your 2015 is going well to date. Mine is outstanding so far. But, you know, things are going well. Health is number one on the list. Let's draw his knuckles here. Just little wavy lines for knuckles and put in more detail to his fingers. Separate each finger like this. All they are essentially is horizontal lines with a little bit of a curve for each finger. The wrist here. Knuckles, draw those in so that they actually match into or connect to the fingers. Had his ring, green lantern ring. Very important. This is, you know, without the ring, you can't do very much. So it controls his power. Power source comes from Oa. Oa is where all the green lanterns, uh, I guess, live, sort of, or that's where their base is. And uh, they don't live there, but their base is there. And uh, they get their green lantern power from the main battery which is on Owa. Anyway, to my my latest knowledge that's what it was. Maybe it's changed since then but I'm not sure. You know Green Lantern could be such a great movie uh, if we had a really good writer to, to write it up. Uh, sadly the last Green Lantern movie was bad to say the least. Uh, you know it could have... Uh, Green Lantern has so much potential and Yet, you know, it always depends on the writer, on the studio, on the actors. But then again, the actors are also stuck with uh, the content. So, yeah, the Green Lantern movie sucked. Sorry for those who liked it. I really didn't like it at all. Who flies around and looks like he's going to crash every five seconds, even after having used the ring for a bit? The ring is autonomous to a certain degree. It should be able to fly you on its own. Don't need to, you know, learn how to fly. I don't know, you know, anyway. If you haven't seen it, don't see it. <laughs> All right, let's get our Copic marker and start doing our outlines here. And we're going to actually trace all the way around and retrace pretty much every one of these lines. A lot of you out there would like to draw it directly, and you can. Go ahead and do it. Draw straight with the, the ink, and maybe I'll try doing that next time. But the idea here is I want to retrace these lines and give them a bit more life. So what I want to do is change the thickness of the line as we go along. And as I'm tracing these lines, sometimes I'll apply more pressure on my pen. Sometimes I'll put no, hardly any pressure at all, keep a nice thin line like this. And then as I press, oh, make it a little bit thicker. Watch here. So I'll curve that nice thin line like this. And then for the elbow, I can press a little bit more, and especially underneath here, the tricep, press a little bit more, make that line thicker. So every line that is on top or that rep represents the top of the body is a nice thin line. Everything that represents the bottom of the body, like this part, make that thicker. And that's what I like about these Copic markers, where there are two ends. I said this in the last video, but for those who haven't seen it, there are two ends. One which is this uh, thin brush, and later on I'll show you the, the chiseled edge, which is squared off, and you can use it to color uh, large portions of your drawing really quickly. All right, so that's coming along well. I'm going to trace his chest area here. And following those lines. What's cool about inking is that some things sometimes I'll find are a little bit too, uh, I don't know, they don't really match with what, I, with what I imagined. And so, like for example, the leg here, I can make it a little bit shorter. As I think the legs may be a little too long, so I can reduce that a little bit. Like that. And then place muscles where I hadn't earlier or trace my lines exactly where I want them to go. So where the pencil lines become really just the, the foundation and I go in and ink the way I want to afterwards. So I, I don't need to necessarily follow my, uh, my pencil lines. I can just retrace wherever I want. Like this leg. You can see, you can see exactly where I'd drawn before, but I've made it a little bit higher. And here we go with the armor. 
shoulder pad, up, uh, turn here, all the way down. Let's make this uh, separator first. Just barely pressing on that marker. This is similar to a uh, Sharpie felt pen, but it has a little, more, a little bit more flexibility in it. So it allows me really to play with the thickness of the lines. And that's what gives life to my drawing. The thickness, the thickness of the lines that, that modulate are pretty cool. They're fun to look at. And as I said before, I used to use a, bris uh, a brush to do this. And now I use these, which are a lot faster to use. I don't have to dip my brush every two minutes and uh, draw. So the Copic marker is a lot of fun. All right, so this arm is pretty good. Let's add some details to the left hand here. Just like that, little lines, and little uh, tendons on the back of his hand. Add a little bit of muscle here. And there we go, a little bit of a line here. Finish that line here, close that up. And then let's trace his right hand. Just like that. Three, four, fifth line, and maybe change the way his fingers coming up there. Add the lines to his knuckles. Add the tendons back here. That maybe a little a bit of a bony protrusion from his wrist. Add the knuckles on the top. There we go. Eh, not bad. Now for the logo, I'm going to use a thinner pen. And it's also a Copic pen, but it's just thinner. It doesn't have that uh, sort of brush feel to it. It's a bit it's solid. And so I can do really thin, detailed lines with this one. The logo is tough. Um, it's tough to draw circles with a brush. If you guys can do it, great. And congrats to you. I still have, like these here, these curves are difficult to do. I have a hard time with the brush. I want to keep the logo sort of different as well from the rest of the overall drawing. So it pops up a little bit more. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see what it'll look like later on. We'll do here the uh, clavicles. Let's trace his hair. Little zigzaggies. And so you think of fire when you're doing hair. It's, it's easy to do when you think of fire. But short fire. You don't want really long flames except for the front here. Wisps of hair. And doing this with a brush is a lot of fun. You get different thicknesses, different textures going, just depending on how much you want to press on that on that uh, pen on the marker. All the way down the side of his face, to his chin. Pull a line here, go back up. Up we go. There we go. Do the contour of his mask. Down, across, and up. Same thing, curve here, nose. Curve the cheek and trace the eyes in here, the eyebrows, and then a little curve for the eye like that, and a little curve. Whoop, but I made it a little bit longer. The second second eye is bigger, but we'll we'll fix that with uh, shading later on. I can make that eye a little bit smaller. Maybe it's his look. Maybe his eyes a little bit closed on one side and oh, bigger on the other one. Well, we'll fix that up later on. I'm not worried. All right, so with my thin pen, I'm going to draw mouth lines. I could have used my other one, but I want to put small details in here. I don't have much space, so I'm going to add a little bit of detail. And then the upper lip, which is very thin here, this pen allows me to do that. And cheek lines, just like this. There we go. And add some reflective shadows to his mask. Uh, nice. Do the side of his ear. Uh, make more, fix that outline a little bit more. Adjust it. Put the uh, shading here to his uh, trap muscles, trapezius. And then use my Copic marker again through the back line there. So I would say we're not too far from uh, coloring soon. 
we're just going to add a few more elements here to this uh, contour and maybe add some sh uh, shading with the black marker here. Add a bit more detail to his hair. Longer wisps here of hair in the middle. And with the color later on, we'll add a bit more detail to that. Okay, so let's erase the foundation lines. We don't need those anymore. And I'm going to add the logo within the ring here, which will make sense, definitely. But you don't just want a circle. You want to be able to see the Green Lantern logo in there. We'll see where we, uh, where, how it comes out. Not too bad. It's very small. It's all right. I'm sure if you go full screen on the YouTube video, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. And add a few detailed lines here. It gives us an idea of shading. Like that. And then a little bit underneath the, the chest divider here. All right. Our pecs are separated in the middle where they attach to the sternum. And then a, sh uh, a like shadow line here along his chest denote the thickness of his chest like that and maybe a nice curved line for this right bicep the same thing for the left one that this part of his suit is a shiny black reflective sort of like satin and we're going to do that at the bottom too same thing for here is forearm fill that in with black elbow Fill that in with black, but make sure to leave a little bit of white. See these little white lines here so that we can add a dark gray later on and, and uh, so we can see it in the contrast of the black and the dark gray. Like that. We'll do the same on this side. I'm going to actually fill all this in. Yep, like this. Nice and black. And add, of course, a little black line here for the elbow. With a little bit of reflection. I want to keep that white there on the edge. I want to fill it all the way up to the edge. Here too. Careful. And underneath the uh, bicep here. Maybe add a line, a line to the top of the bicep, another reflective area, and the tricep over here. Alright, that's coming along pretty well. And a few more lines here of detail. Finish that up here underneath the shoulder pad. Have a shadow on the left side too. And, and then we'll add some details to the legs, which are similar to the ones on the arms. Now we'll color this part in. And make this line a little bit thicker. And I'm just following, you know, going with my instinct of where things should go. How things should reflect and of course this is the shadow to his body there it's been nice and black his um, his body is casting a shadow on his leg so we need to color that in and then later on we're gonna add some uh, a dark gray over this finish this up here like that same thing here there you go all right, a few more details on this side of the leg. Bringing that a little bit thicker. There you go. And of course the knee. Let's not forget the knee. All right, so coloring time. Let's start with a light green for the highlights. So this is where the light hits his suit. And we're gonna color that in. So his trapezius muscle is the uppermost part of his body in this shot, so we need to make that a light green. I'm going to be using two greens today, a light and a dark. And then, because I don't have three greens, sadly, I should go pick some more, some more up. But I'm going to be using a, a light gray over top of the dark green, and that'll make it darker for sure. It'll look like a darker green, but, you know, when we don't have all the tools, we use what we've got. All right, so I'm going to leave some white here. Maybe I'll, I'll color over it later on, but we'll see. I may want to have light, uh, white light reflection, and maybe not, but let's color around the logo here. This is going to be a nice light green. It'll pop out from the dark green we're going to put in there later. And then the inside part here. 
the background of the lantern is white, so let's not fill in the white part there in, in the middle of the chest. There we go. Small details, we'll color this side in. Maybe I'll use that as a, I'll use the right side here as a light reflection off of his suit. I'm gonna finish this left elbow and of course the right elbow. Color that in. And this section has to be dark, so we'll go in green like this, and then we'll go over top, we'll color over top of it with a darker green later on. Maybe there's a little bit of color here. And what's cool with these markers is that if I go over the same color with the same green, um, I go over its color with the same green because it adds another layer, it makes it a little bit darker. So you can add sort of reflective materials by just using the same exact marker. This one, however, is darker, so you can see the difference right away. I'm going to color that in. The underside of the suit is pretty dark. There's no light getting in there. And I don't think I'm going to be using these white spots anymore. I'll get rid of those. Get rid of this here on the side, and then this here on the shoulder. And I'm use a darker green to fill this bottom part of his chest out that and maybe a little bit under his chin here cast shadow from his uh his head and the trap muscles are deep in there so we'll color this in darker and of course this section here needs to be dark as well just like on the right side here and of course the bottom part of his uh, shoulder pad and the same thing on the right side, just like that. And then we'll add some muscle lines here, like we did with Colossus. He's flexing, so you know we get those grooves and muscle grooves going in there. And we'll add sort of like a gradient effect by pulling lines up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Make sure to make twelve. If you don't draw twelve in there, then you're not drawing correctly. <laughs> Does that sound like me? Not really. Well, you just do as many lines as you want. Don't want to put lines? Don't put lines there, you know? Who am I to tell you what to do? Just draw, draw, draw. Have fun. That's what counts. And we'll add a little bit of a reflection like this with the nice darker green. Nice darker green. And then uh, another one here. That's coming along well. Then we'll add that, use a dark green to add little reflective elements to his logo as well. And we're going to make sure to keep the light green in there. But here at the bottom should be darker. A shadowy area. Just like that. That's what I love about these pens or these markers. They're really thin and I can put a lot of detail. So we're going to color the whole arm here in a nice dark gray. And we're going to do the right one as well. And we're going to color all that in real quickly. Remember, you can pause the video at this point and catch up. So I'm going to paint in his legs. And this, this side, I'm using the chiseled area of the brush, of the, the marker, to do these lines. Using the chisel edge makes it faster to fill in these portions of uh, the picture. I'm going to retrace here to finish that line, make it a little bit cleaner. And then I'm going to add some sort of hatching here to give it a little gradient to that shadow. I'm going to color in the mask, light green first, just like that, color in the whole thing. And then we'll use a darker green to add some darker elements to the mask here at the bottom, and some reflective elements here at the top, near the side of the nose, make the nose a little bit thinner. There you go. And then I'm going to use this liner to make the eye just a little bit smaller so it matches the element a little bit more. See, there are no mistakes in drawing. You can fix everything. Black line here, black line there. Let's put in some uh, Caucasian tone to his skin. So it's like a little beige. Beige tone there. And we're going to use a little bit darker brown now to add some shadows to his lip. Bottom of his nose, bottom of the mask side cheeks there and then underneath his chin here 
then of course we need to do it underneath his hair and color his hair and it's the same color I suppose but this time because we're doing directly on the white it will look a little bit lighter and then we'll take a darker brown to uh, color in the rest so in between here in the deep recesses of his hair we're gonna add a dark brown so that we have like a a thickness, a layering of color there that can be fun. If you'd like to leave some white in this hair so it looks like he has reflective, his hair are really clean so you can have nice re white reflective parts in there if you want to. And I'm going to use the black here to color in the side of his hair, make that a little bit darker. Okay, this green lantern is coming along pretty well, I think. And we're doing it. We're, we're coloring that in rather quickly. We have maybe another four to six minutes left to this drawing. We're going to now add the light gray to his gloves. And just add some lines, some detail lines here, following sort of the muscle lines that we have. And of course the tendon lines here, make that nice and gray. We can use a really light gray. Do the portion of the fingers here, separate those. And we're going to do the right one as well. This big shape that I'm going to color in, just like that. And leaving white here is key because we want those gloves to remain white. It really depends where the light is uh, in the coloring of your characters. You need to figure out, okay, the light is coming from the top or it's coming from the bottom. Or you need to play around with that. Okay, now with my black line marker here, I'm going to just Add a few more details to this glove. Pull some lines here, and the same thing on this side. Add some curved lines here. And just a few details to punch that drawing up a little bit. Yeah, it's easy sometimes to go overboard with that. Um, so be careful. And of course, don't forget to color in your ring, which I was about to do. But now it's done. A few little details in there to be a little bit darker. And in here too, this line here should be darker. Can't forget this one. Can't leave that white. Doesn't make any sense. And this section here will make that a light gray. The same gray we used for his gloves. Divide the chest muscles here. Watch the logo. We don't want to color any gray on the logo there. And underneath here, a little white line that will make darker. Nice. And here too. Alright, so let's color this part in. Nice black. Just like on the right bicep. Fill in the tricep here a little bit more. And then we'll finish up the legs, add a bit more darker color underneath here. And the same on this leg, we'll make that a little bit darker as well. So push that leg back even further. Very good. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm having fun drawing this quickly here. Just doing that, you know, a pretty decent job with this drawing. It's not too bad. I'm going to add this section here. So I'm using, as I said earlier, I'm going to be using a, a light gray, or same gray that I was using for his hands there, for his gloves, and I'm going to retrace certain elements here on, on his uh, suit. And because we're coloring on green, um, it'll make the this gray look like a dark green. So I'll color over top here. Because I don't have a dark green, I'm just going to use this light gray. Well, light, you know, medium gray. There we go. A few more lines here. Now, what are we going to do for the background? I guess we're going to make him fly through the air. So, let's see. Probably use a light blue for the background. And, uh, color that in diagonally and then maybe give him some light effect around his suit first so let's do that we're gonna add a his light powers he sort of has like a green shield around him so we're gonna trace around but make sure to leave a little bit of white around his body there we're gonna fill that in make sure yeah we want to keep a little thin line around so it gives us a nice effect of a white line contour around his body and then his energy, his green uh, emerald energy around him. 
And that can be a pretty cool effect, just like that. Just like this. So now you know what I'm doing. So I might speed this up a little bit. And color that in a little bit more and then see so make it sort of like short flame too. It's sort of sparkling and crackling around. And so we're gonna do the rest all the way around here. Let me just get my chiseled edge here a little bit better bent or curved to match a contour and let's speed things up a little bit. And we're gonna use also these Kirby crackles. Uh, Jack Kirby used to be uh, an illustrator for Marvel a long time ago and uh, he helped Stan Lee draw a lot of characters and he, they used to use these crackly uh, little circles around when when energy was crackling and so these little circles are called Kirby, crack, uh, Kirby crackles because he invented that stuff. We we'll had these lines here to show movement, Green Lantern's movement, so just using the thick edge of the chisel, pull down and there we go, we got nice lines. We'll do the same thing here for his legs. Boom, 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 boom. One more. That's two more. There we go, look at that. That's coming along well. So let's add more Kirby Crackles. And of course, color in the top part of his body here. And I want to make this the top line a little bit thinner as, you know, it's not trailing back. It's just staying close to his body like that. And we'll use a darker green and add a few more details to this uh, energy around him. And then we'll use a light blue to color the background. You know, it'll be tough not to lose that green that we've just colored, but you know, it'll give a nice effect nonetheless. So here's a light blue. I think it's the same one we used for Colossus. And we're going to just color in and leave some white in between these sections of blue that we'll put in there. I keep the diagonal in the same angle as we did on the other side there. There we go. There's a little gap. Fill that in. And it doesn't matter if there's white in there, or, you know, sort of messy coloring. And there's our Green Lantern. I really hope you enjoyed drawing and tracing and coloring Green Lantern today. I enjoyed drawing it for you. There's uh, just a, one more element left top here and then of course my signature to say it was a great drawing for you today I hope you have a great week come see us again next time see you soon 2015 catch you later have a great day